but you reminded me that Tundra was once upon a time one series away from being able to go to TI, TI-10. They barely missed out on that one. Very true. Second chance for them, right? And being able to be here at TI-11, and they've made the most of that chance. They've gone very far through the tournament so far. And Secret, of course, everybody knows about that. that there's a huge second chance right there. And to go through the last chance qualifier. That's the ultimate second chance right there. Not actually get a chance to refill his bottle, so. Talking about being low on mana. It only gets one. worse. Oh. Looks like sneaking. It's just gonna fall. Resolution. It's way too hard with the 2-2-0. Socks are more towards these mid skirmishes, which again we're seeing 10 minute rune. Holding Might in place. Be trouble. Depends how much secret commits. Snowball afterwards should be able to keep him in place. The arrow sneaks in from the side. Oh, it actually tosses over science at the last second. Hello. Tries to block him off, but is going to be caught by the imprisonment. Probably surrounded here. I don't think Secret can do too much to stop this one. Indeed, does fall. Nine with a killing spree already. Moves from Tundra with Moonlight Shadow or the vision they have on the map from Naga. Makes it a lot easier for those to work. Yeah. This is where Secret have to choose how they play the map, and they have to choose it carefully. If they have more anchor points like this monkey or mag, they feel are strong. Here it comes. Just group up. Blink reveal. Skewer back. Small little distance. They do hit a nice combo onto Zayats here, but uh, they might be able to catch both here with a beautiful static storm. The chains on top. Sneaking's going to get run down. Zoxa does get bailed out, though, by nine. And that OD hits pretty hard. They don't want to play around him. They want to finish off that support. They do claim it. 33. He was kind of hovering around here. Isn't able to do much. Like you said, blink tiny here. Can also blink and eat his tree. Get Snake King, thinking about the Wukong's man. Now, this is a little bit of a stretch. Crystal is really trying hard for this one. The rest of his team, no not leaves. quite there. Snake King is going to be caught. No leaps in hand. And they do get the glimpse backwards here with a snowball on top of that one. Two pickups. Very valuable for Secret. Those are two big killers on the map. So now Secret just take a huge lead at that point in time, right? You would get map control. Yeah, absolutely disaster. Yeah, no, just a significant gap. That means another level of talent. Some more goal on the map. Do you feel like that's something that is uh, more valuable than it has been in previous patches? Because nice catch there. Just found what a beautiful skewer. Soxa was looking for a toss back there. Couldn't quite get it. And uh, looks like they're just going to be baby. No, maybe not. Out. Nine walking out of the Wukong skin. He gets glimpsed back though. And now he dies. They're now they four. actually get the slight chains onto 33 as well with the double BKB pop and the static storm on top of them. That one's going to be two cores dead on the side of Tundra Nisha. With the last remnant, it's a BKB hunting for even more heroes. But Soxa said, you want me? Like I jumps in, doesn't quite finish him off. The snowball save gets him away. A skewer back almost catches Snake King, but he managed to leap out. The glimpse doesn't pull him back far enough either. So Soxa daring to dive in like that was a bold move. We'll see what they can do, though. Tuncher are going to go for a five-man smoke. This is so I feel like, like we haven't seen them do this in Maybe the whole game. Now they might find the Zayas toss. Him they yeah, they will. They're going to toss him over the side here into the Orchid. Now Puppy shows up. He actually ran in. going into this one. The Static Storm goes out. The Wukong's man on top of that one. They're going to chain it with the stun from Chrysalis. Make sure that the Marauder can't get away. Nice and prison save. save. The five position is going to come back. The statues and the slight. Make sure he stays down. It's another toss back here if Tundra want to think about it. Oh, Rezo is going to displace Ooh. him first, though. Yeah, there goes the toss over the side. So both the repositioning spells being used here. But an RP locking out the two of them. The OD ultimate was dropping on BKBs. Nisha, they're going to fight it out with Chrysalis. So the song isn't going to be enough for Skeeter unless... There it is, the imprisonment with the song on top of that one. Now with the BKBs failing out, can out Secret gas. continue this fight? Or Tundra, are they going to be able to be the ones to catch over hero after hero? A glimpse back, not going to do enough, though, as it's going to be Nisha caught by the Orchid. Drained of everything he has, including his life. They may have had the Aegis on Team Secret, but it's Tundra who come out the victors in that well-played team fight. Look how much this Marana death gets stalled. It was a snaking by, but now we're getting Dipping more player arrow. In. Static Storm trying to protect him, but it looks like with the imprisonment, it's probably going to be enough. Now, Zoxa's life is going to get traded out one for one, but they do have the ensnare on the Monkey King no here. He doesn't have his BKB, not for another 20 seconds. He's a big time trouble. They do manage to get the skewer back onto nine, but without the Monkey King, do they have anything to take advantage of this one? They do have the Ember Spirit Running coming in over. hot. Nine. He needs to get out of here, but this damn kinetic field to lock him in, in place. Nature goes for the kill, and Nature will claim it. Shockwave managed to finish him up the end. Now with the BKB, he's going to challenge Skeeter. Doesn't really have the damage against the Naga Siren, so we won't find a secondary kill during that BKB timing. How they anchor that engagement. Ideally, it's OD every time. 
trying to be game, but it's not dead even anymore. No BKB on the Ember Spirit. It's caught by the Moonlight Shadow rotation of Tundra. Button clicks that one was, but he force staffed and horn tossed, but didn't blink forward. Socks are thinking about blind jumping. Radiance. Cutting his way through. He's gonna find Science and toss him back over to the side. He's just immediately gonna try and take advantage of this. They do manage to get off the snowball and they're gone on top of the OD. That's all important, but he has the imprisonment. He's gonna come back into Chrysalis with the stun, but he blinked away just before the stun could hit. And that is so much of the team fight on the side of Secret now. Tundra is gonna continue to retreat though, instantly to side forward onto the Magnus. He tried to go forward, but he had an Aeon Disc as well. So he's gonna be okay. And that hammer did absolutely nothing to him, but did almost finish off the toss. The Ember Spear is stuck inside the Instare with no BKB. He will die, overextending. Now Knight goes in teeth though, with the RP. They land exactly what they needed there to turn the fight. Two cores going down on the side, now with a buyback on sides. They're gonna finish off Zox, so he gets tossed over. Maybe staking low, beaten down. Chrysalis versus Skeeter, a one-on-one. -on -one carry matchup where Skeeter has the health advantage and he's got the ensnare, he's got oh, the illusion, strong, he surrounds man. the Monkey King. And now Nine comes back into play as well for the plus one. Rezo for Staskewer on yeah, away. Boy. They're trying to catch him, but Nine. So close to be able to get off that extra imprisonment, but the blink goes first. Ultimately, Tundra walk away the victory. Back in live, we have the RP, the lands onto the Naga Sire, but he's so damn tanky. They need to be able to 100% him there, but they've got the imprisonment plus the shard. So he's going to be able to walk it off, all thanks to that Roshan pickup. What a glut here, though. Locking out a bunch of heroes. They also caught on top of it. Once again, the OD, they're just walking away from this one, thanks to that imprisonment save. They jump back over 33, who looked to be able to finish off, but he has an Aeon disc, and now the song reset comes in. Tundra, they built up these imprisonments. Nine's in the position. Arrow goes out. BKB from Chrysalis. The Takes that one down. Back. Secret on full retreat here. Are they all going to get away from this one? Tundra, oh, do they have back. anything left? Nisha, he barely got away. Glimpse back, goes around. They have the Lotus Orb to deal with the silence. That part is so hard. I love the Lotus Orb from Puppy, but it's so hard for him to be around this Ember Spirit all the time. Toss away. Oh, there goes Skewer back at the same time. The slight and jump away from Nisha. Soxa thought he had an opportunity to trade his life for a big core, but Nisha's Ember Spirit is just too elusive. They found the, the real Naga multiple times now. Like you said, just not enough damage to kill him. There's going to be an Astral save. There's going to be a song follow-up. At that point, he just walks it off. Initiation so difficult. Now you're getting turned on. Bloodthorn going to work here. Shreddy Zaya. I'm not sure. It's not easy. Depends who thinks oh, they have Oh, nice. Four staff. Cuts the king down from his perch here. Let's but have BKB if he can get it off. He does have BKB, but he may not have an opportunity. Imprisonment at the last second. He's got some regen coming in. He's going to survive through this and get off Panic the BKB. Well. Throws out the stun. A huge heal with the same panic. Now the Wukong's command. The imprisonment once again. The Song of Siren. Doesn't want to. He needs to be able to jump BKB. out, but they actually. They're going to go back in. Do they find him? He's, he's a tree right there. He's right there. He didn't find him. They hit him. He's not going to be able to jump onto the trees. He's still inside the Wukong's command, but Skeeter doesn't care. He's got his illusions. He's got his whole crew. Signing up for duty to bring down the Chrysalis Monkey King, and he's dead for 80 seconds. A huge opportunity now for Tundra. Honestly, maybe you're a fresher here. I mean, you already have, like, bags on the heroes you wanted, right? Sure. Even this Naga has one, so... In which case, now we can drop to find the angle. Nice skewer. away! Really? It's a long one. Snake King blocked by the Kinetic Field, actually, but the second one gets around it, and on the side, we're going to see Puppy pay for that Kinetic Field, perhaps. The Spiders look to be able to chase him down, and... The hammer Number gets one. dropped. Nine turns around. Imprisonment. Refresh. That second support goes down. Rezo looks to try and blink forward there and get the skewer back. Meanwhile, we see Nisha. He's forced to bomb his BKB, the Bloodthorn. Managed to get that one out of him. They've used kind of everything they have on the side of Secret. They're going to have to full out retreat. They may just have to give up a full lane of barracks. This game is looking rough. There's just not enough damage in the tank. I think even at this point, if you land everything on this Naga, and he doesn't astral him, does it matter? He still has Aegis, he still has the butterfly evasion. Just not cutting through enough of this. You need really the skewer, pure. though. The skewers are always an opportunity. Nine in turn throws out the imprisonments. They cannot seem to be able to lock down these one heroes because nine is always there with to be able to get the save. Our they have that Naga. buyback though on the disruptor. They need to make it worth something here. They get Astral's the gloves back, but again, the astrals, the imprisonments, they keep on going down. And this is still the first life. Soxy with the toss over on Anisha. He doesn't have BKB. He's caught at the side. And now the song oh, wake him back out. up. And there's a second side. Wait, in the vulnerability over and over again. But he couldn't get away. He does have a buyback. They're going to try and get the die back on the puppy here. Lotus or bouncing back some spells. Another score over the side through the they kinetic the field. Lead. They caught nine. They hit him with the stun. The fight there. He's dead. All important. Finally, the OD 
D is the one that gets caught in the initiation for resolution, gets caught in the trap, and no now the time. rest of Tundra. There is no song. There is no imprisonment. OD by. OD Locked coming back. Uh oh. They cannot afford this Naga Siren to die. He pops a man. Dodge the nice dodge the there of the stun. The arrow coming in. Goes wide. He's focusing on resolution. He does not want to get skewered any longer. The BKB is going to wear out soon. They've gotten on top of nine. Well, it's maybe just the Tuss who's gotten on top of nine. Nisha has the second round of the BKB. There goes the imprisonment. Chris they have to get And they here. follow up off of this one. Science. Oh, that skewer is off the mark. He blinks away first. And that, without being able to catch nine, so much of their extension here on Secret is being ruined. Again and again, the imprisonment's going down. Nisha throwing out the damage, does manage to jump back to his remnant. If they can reset here, ultimately, they still got a buyback out of nine. There is still a buyback on Skeeter, but both nine and 33 use theirs. It's uh, stronger. That is literally more strength, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Avery. <laughs> Snowball in. Zayat's being pulled into a nasty scenario where he'll just be avalanche now. Chrysalis is out. Oh, look at that. Zox immediately tried to pounce on the Monkey King to get him off the tree. Still got him in the end. Is he going to be able to get off a of BKB? They've got the Lotus Heart to be able to help him out. He pops a BKB now. Turn, Static Storm. There's no real Naga Siren there. They've also caught Puppy on the side. So the two supports will die. Neither one have a buyback in the Skeeter. Woo. Soxa almost catching. I mean, Soxa's got a full Octarine core. <laughs> These Tundra supports are so farmed and they are so annoying. And who's going to take the Aghanim Scepter? Well, going to be the Broodmother. So now, <laughs> talking about the spiders being in the base. And now you're going to have these spinner snares just sitting all around. If you ever try and step out of the base, there's probably going to be like 10 spinner snares you're going to be running into. I'm starting Secret to feel like <laughs> we're at the point where... They need five or six Lincolns for the mag, you know, are we yep. at that point again? Somebody help this man get the skewers off. They kind of do. They kind of need just that. Or PKB here, but he's just so far from it. Setting up. Socks up. Fight the initiation. Two-man avalanche with a toss back as well. They do manage to get a, a skewer, skewer back into the tier fours. So as long as nobody dies on the side of Secret, it's going to be okay for them. Just they did use the BKB, off. and Soxa was walking off of the Aeontis, the four staff away. Now the Song of Siren allowing him to get out. How do you kill any of these heroes? I don't know. If you're not killing him in that scenario, I mean, you need Nullifier. You just need it. They need oh, it now. Oh, didn't quite get it. The skewer almost going off. The Nullifier is going to make that Aeontis useless. Oh, and he does. He dies. Nine finish him off. There's going to be a dieback. Now it's going to be a four versus five. We were Chrysalis in a good position, though. And oh, oh, oh. My goodness. Oh, just Nine gone. just exploded. And 33. That's the squash Spider as well. They do a buyback, though. Secret got to be careful as they push out, but they really want to be able to force more. They want to be able to stop these supports. There goes the oh, buyback. The one Thorn Stare onto the Ember Spear. They need to help him out. And here comes Nine. They've got the scythe. The imprisonment going down. This is maybe the last stand from Secret. It's all up to Chrysalis. And he's going to be able to fight through. Skater, he's going to fall once. Nine. A dieback on him. They just changed the Secret game for Secret, it. but Chrysalis, he's not sure if he can go for it. They're going to stick on a Skater instead. Soxa comes in, lays down a combo. Almost enough to finish off the Monkey Gate. He does die. He goes down. Nisha the one-on-one -on -one against Nisha. Now Sneaking joins in the fray. He jumps forward. Nisha, he must get this kill. He needs it so badly. Another round of slight. The chain, chain hit. Not quite hard, but the double slide gets him before he dies. He finishes off nine. He gives Secret a small chance. All up to Crystalis and Puppy. This is one BKB. That's it in the tank. The Puppy buyback. Static Storm in 30. He's getting snared, getting illusion. I don't think the Monkey King's stopping this, but he has one last Wukong in the tank. The most veteran TI captain in Dota history and the newest kid to the block, Crystalis, himself for holding against four of Tundra. The tier fours are down. The throat is exposed. They got to get in there soon. He pops the BKB. He starts charging at Tundra, but they just keep their distance. He's going to blow the Wukong's command. He tries to hold. He needs 15 seconds. Chrysalis, can he hold 15 seconds for the Magnus to come back and start getting those skewers? How long is this Wukong? He's praying for it to be as long as possible. It needs possible. to be a little bit longer, but he's getting tossed out of it. And now Tundra, he they pounce a, a second round, a refresh, a double, double stun, the static storm. They're trying to hold. They're trying he to get out of the static storm. But are they going to be able to hold this? One. The mantle away, the, the Saga Siren out. Four Spirit step, four step, four step, TP out, and Secret hold. Crystalis and hell? Puppy, they managed to hold somehow, some way. This game will continue. The refresher on the monkey. We did, we said that Wukong has to last longer. Well, two of them, two of That's them was the enough. Way to do it. I back on Odie Brood.
Divine Monkey might just one or two shots on heroes here. Refresher coming up in 15. Oh man, a double bounty strike would actually just Good one shot some heroes. Glimpse Glimpse on back the first thing, fine. 33 into the game. He goes down to two. Nine with the save though. Nine, eight being chased down by the snowball. Gets a first step away from Stocks and he locks down the two supports and bam! There they go. There goes one hammer. Nine setting up for a little bit more. Gets the reset up a song. So now with just the cores alive, they, are trying to get they can out. keep their distance and maybe get out fully. Soxa, no maybe not so lucky. Tiny. That is going to be very bad if he dies here. Another hero with no buyback. Again, secret. They have been down and out this entire game. Anything that resembles parody in this game has got to be a win for secret. They are just like stuck inside their base for like 90% of the game. And now we've gone to a point. Such a girthy specimen in my life, Cap. That is the beauty of Dota. So Secret have been holding on just ever <laughs> so barely and quite literally probably one of the, the, the smallest little threads you could possibly hope for. Tundra have been fully disciplined this entire time. Like while Secret have been holding on, Tundra have not overextended as they've seen many teams do here at this TI. They're looking for the toss back. They have been looking for openings and patiently letting those openings play out. Somebody walks into that spinner snare. Great. Oh, they get the toss back. And oh, Lord, he is coming. Here comes Soxa. Giants ring Soxa. Trying to find the opening here. The Wukong's man is going to go off. They do have the imprisonment. The dark shadow is the tiny moving out of that Wukong's man. Thanks to that imprisonment. Astral save once again from nine. They do have the scythe. Keeping that Ember so Spear. Four staff him out. That's the nullifier. Oh, oh, he got hit by an arrow. Puppy down. One pick off, tree ball being used, caught, and forced to use the BKB. Two small wins there for Tundra. A BKB down on Chrysalis and a buyback out of dis the Disruptor. This is what we're talking about. Tundra has just been so good at being able to just sm see small opportunities like this arrow. Soxa looking for an opening. Doesn't go for the toss back, instead the imprisonment. Magnus getting I caught as he so tries to jump in. Also nullified as well. Tree ball is coming in. Resolution needs to be able to get outside. He's managed to get the kick back on his snaking and snowballs his way out of there. Chris Lutz sees an opportunity. Hits that him with about the strike. And the static storm will finish him off. Nine is almost dead. Nisha's been messing around with him, but at the same time, Tusk falls. Nisha all in and trying to chase down this OD. Trying the last red into the BKB. Yes, he couldn't fight him. DP out. The BKB, the BKB expires. Oh. He gets caught. Socks up to finish him off with the help of nine. This OD just way too elusive on the back end. So much help as well. And that was a refresher for this Ember. He's going to have to expend buyback here, but he is not going to have that up, which means no BKB for the full duration. Buyback one, buyback two. Skewer away. Pulled out, but at the same time, a dieback on the Disruptor. Chrysalis jumps in, immediately in prison. He's not going to get off the Wukong's command. He hopes for it, is. and he doesn't have the BKB either. Starts fighting up against Skeeter. Trying to hold him. Oh, what a kickback! Right in front of the Monkey King. Odie. What a beautiful kick! Buybacks here. Odie coming back in. With Tundra. the song, setting things up. They yeah, have the imprisonments ready to go. They're going to focus on this Tusk first. They know this repositioning is so damn bad for them. The and Avalanche on a three. He and the Hammer's up. come in! Finishing off the Ember Spirit, a two buyback. They are all in on being able to hit either the best RP of your life, Renzo. No! Good. It's denied by the imprisonment. He the tries Astros, to go for the man. boundless strike. He gets the skewer back now, but coming back into play, Chris is not going to be able to do anything. Immediately silence it. That is it. Tundra, they will take this game one. <laughs> Just the most beautiful discipline play you could possibly hope for to see on the main stage from Tundra. They worked secret bit by bit. They wore them down until they could finally break them for secret. With that many saves and that much split pushing, it just felt like everything that they tried to do was immediately stymied. So this time around, I mean, you pointed out early on, there aren't those kind of saves. I mean, that's a huge play on this lane. Like, he gets the trade off first drought. Now they can turn around as well, both side lanes. Well, there's an opportunity. Resolution what? swinging through Snake and getting that kill. And 33 almost dying on the other side of the map as well. So once again, the side lane's not doing too badly for Secret. Stuff being in the way and, and negating that uh, ultimate of hers. Do you think that's why? I mean, we have Primal Beast, we have Clockwork. There does seem to be a decent number of heroes to get on top of this drought range, or is that not enough in your mind? Yes, Solar but... Guardian Global, Nyx to bail him out. Here's the first connect with that chain stun. Yeah, they're going to use this nicely. Nisha said, okay, you guys take 33. I trust you got it. I'm actually going to go for the plus one here. Snaking showed himself, and Resolution with the hammer will claim the double. 20 to 25 minute timing here.
where the spell damage is just going to be too much for Secret to deal with. It is kind of interesting, though, because they're matched up against two cores that can go match commune. <laughs> yes. You know, we're going to have that Dawnbreaker. Zai, it's the opening. The Rolling That's Thunder is on top combine. of it. The chain's done. Here it is. No opportunity for a Sunder. Now they back up through, but the hook shot is on in from Soxa. Now Puppy. Get the rest of the team of Secret is going to come they through. They managed out. to get out the global ever so barely. And look at Chrysalis. He's just standing and delivering on that high ground. Now they come back in with Nisha from behind. They almost claimed the kill on a Snake King, but now he's been grabbed by the Primal Beast. He needs to jump away. The Swashbuckle gets him a little bit of distance, burning through the mana of nine. He's got a lot of sick charges. Nisha actually Taste with the it. Ace Root is running around. He spotted Snake King. Hey, look at him. Ah, you're not getting away from this one. He knew it too, even with the high five taunting Snake King into his death. 33 chase downs done into one. And now they've got Chrysalis to clean up the kill just like you want any drow ranger to go yeah i can kind of see that especially nine's gonna follow up he onslaughts and tramples through like that's that's, that's one shot territory for sure and now they have the, Dines, now the opening they have the rolling thunder as well the dawnbreaker Tundra did not see this one coming fast enough, but they do have in that back line. Skeeter has popped the meta, so Secret needs to be able to reset a little bit, especially with Soxa getting on top of the Drow Ranger, making it even worse. Puppy's going to get grabbed. The two supports of Secret died, despite the fact that Secret are the ones finding the initiation. It's Tundra who gets the better of the engagement. Meadow has been down for this as well. 50 seconds. Skeeter does not want to join a fight. Rezo just pushing in here. They're going to spot him. Going to get off his BKB in time. He's going to be changed on here. Beautiful combo from Tundra. Nine and Soxa not overlapping there at all. Now, Secret is willing to fight here. They have a blink on Tango. Oh, this is... It's going to be revealed, though. Off the Rolling Thunder. Just, pretty, just try and slow him down. They're going in pretty deep for this one. I'm not sure if the rest of the team really wants to follow this one up. They're going to try it with the Impale, but here comes the Primal Beast running over the Nyx and Sats in the first use of the BKB. And of course, they got to get out. Leave their supports behind. They are fodder in the face of a Tundra team. Oh, that fast little arrow. And now this Visage, though they do have Skeeter coming in from the side. The meta pops out. He does Gust, pushing over to the side. Ooh, Soxa. That's an awkward Cox blocking Skeeter from his retreat, nice jumping play. back in. Nisha claims the kill onto 33. Now Red with the resolution back. closing in here, they can throw out the stun. Skeeter's gonna pop his BKB. Do they yeah, have their own up. BKB? He needs to get off the thunder. He gets it off on Soxa. Turns around and kills the Drow Ranger. A beautiful play by the young man on stage that is gonna be able to claim two core kills. Zayat's looking to find Ooh. something, but... Is under attack. Not funny. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit. This gamer thing work is working out all right for him. <laughs> he seems to be doing just okay. Hook shot. Soxa killing the creep, chaining the stun there with the cogs, but the rest of the team, they called it off. They said, this is not the fight that we want. Soxa says, okay, thanks guys. <laughs> I'll see you later. Just splitting the map, snaking, trying to do a little- Oh, the roll up. Hey, forces something out of him. Forces two ultimates, in fact. Snaking this. Shove the waves that Secret doesn't want to go to. Yeah, but if they find this initiation, I mean, Skeeter. This could be the best hero they can find. Okay, they, they're not going to be able to get a fast initiation for it. Ooh! The roll up. Is he going to be able to get off anything here? Just Nisha is just dead immediately. The physical damage overwhelms him, and now Zayat's going to be chased down. They spotted him. They're going to pop the drums, chase him down. They've got the slow, and that should be it for our Nyx assassin. He's got a vendetta up in a second, but I'm sure they have detection, even if he tries for it. Primal Beast damage is starting to ramp up. Mm -hmm. The initiation, though. Nisha, they had the mission to be able to get the opening. The Drive Ranger is going to get run over, though. Nine, popping his uh, axe, but he has to chase in real deep for this one. Can anyone bail him out? He's just getting trampled to death. Somebody help Crystal. It pops man at the last second, but Nine grabs him in the end, pulls no him West down. Way. Now, underneath that tier two, I mean, he's fast. Can he get away, though? No, nope. the final swashbuckle gets him in the end, but they get drug in a little bit deeper. Zayat, he's going to be chased down on the side here at the same time. 33 is kind of toying with them, trying to bait Secret into going for more, but they will not get baited. 33 just... Straight up, throws damage onto the tier two, saying you guys can't fight right now. Force staff aggressively force staff in, force staff back in the line, but resolution cleaves out the support. The stone for him gives him a little bit of time. Nisha, he's got to keep his distance here. That's Sunder. You can keep poking here. They can. Can they actually keep them in place though? Slow down by the curse and the hammer. Nisha comes in through the side. The shield crashes there. Whoa! There goes that visage. There goes it's the raid pack. <laughs> as soon as the cloak is gone. The double force staff done. The axe on the clockwork. Shiva's axe on this primal beast and 33 pushing towards an assault Kuros. That is like the huge armor differential gone, right? AC, yeah. Buckler, all these things, huge versus Drow. Now they're opening the torch down, push them deeper into secret. Maybe that's not what they wanted. At the same time, 
nine. Well, he tried to go in, and that initiation didn't feel good either. So Tundra is now on full out retreat. The roll up, Nisha going to be able to deal with the frostbite. Can he get out though? He's going to be grabbed by nine. Swashbuckle over the side. There goes the crystal mate. Nice two man stun as well from the Nix assassin. A four step in it. once again in the terror blade. Triple crush. kill for Chrysalis. Turns over to nine, who had to deep commit in order to finally finish up that Pangolier. No stuns in time. The BKB lasted long enough. Puppy. Oh, oh got him just in time. Zayat finds a fourth kill for Old Crystalis. Now Secret taking the fight to them, pushing his tower with Aegis. Smoke it all comes around, down though. to the initiation, but Zayat's beaten. He's going to be able to break that smoke. The onslaught on through. They do have the spike care base. Pop the BKB last second. They managed to get on top of the sounds as well. The global the sounds goes out. Zayat's is not dead yet, nor is Puppy. While well, Chris is delivering the damage onto Skeeter. for that forward. Then you get the hook shot. Turn around. Skeeter gets off the Sunder on his support. Manta gets popped. Crystal is trying to walk away, but that nullifier, it'll keep him in place. Another and now Nine is setting up for the Starbreaker, Double though. Four. Resolution. He barely hits the end one, and that's all he Man. needed. Crystal is on the second line, will stand and deliver the damage on to nine. That'll finish him off. The Primal Beast with the Dispel is not going to be enough to walk away. Give me your intelligence, mother. And I'll take it every time. Puppy with the buyback Ooh. to get the extra insteal. He's going to be pretty strong in this next engagement. Huge amount of spell damage coming out. If Trow lives through the initial burst from Tuncha, it's going to be a hard fight. Rocket player scouting Puppy. They're going to go for that free kill. Does and he had the gem too. Nisha's gonna try and follow this up though. They do have the Dawnbreaker ultimate coming in on the side. They're gonna chain stun down this visage. They work through the cloak. The double hammer goes to play. And Snakey will try to freeze the field. The They're getting on top of Chrysalis this time around. But he doesn't have that second line. Skeeter's got the meta. And they can start laying into the Drow Ranger. But they need to be able to get the disarms. And now with the chain stun going off. out, the Drow falls. Yes, but Resolution and Nisha, they are just cleaving through hero after hero. The Primal Beast again trying to walk Resolution. away. But Resolution, he'll run you down. He'll drag you down into the dark, down until you fall, down until you go all the way back to the fountain. He's Gotta able to it. hold now that the shoe is on the other foot. Rocket's coming out, doesn't see anything. Skeeter might get caught. Oh, this would be the worst situation. Oh, Two-man stun set up with the resolution, ready to go. Both will fall, both do have buyback, but there's going to be a third hero on the ring. It's 33. Roll on through, stop the onslaught as well. Everything being countered on the side of Secret. They use their buybacks, but they're not going to be able to do much. Maybe they can. Nine jumps in, grabs the Drow Ranger, and they do manage to get him. Immediate buyback. Secret trying to reset around this one. A beautiful stun from Science Once again, another two-man follow-up. Nisha keeping his distance here with the swashbuckle. It's going to roll up to the side. They're going to try and deal with this Nyx Assassin. Go, Don Ranger coming in. Here comes the stunts. Can they chain stun him? They burned out of mana. He needs to be able to get off a Sunder, but he doesn't have an opportunity to do so. He falls. A die back on the carry, but at the same time, oh, the Primal Beast went in, but they couldn't actually deal with the Drow Ranger, who's just in the back line. Throwing away the damage resolution. He will not go down easy. He will not go down without a fight. He finally does fall, but Tundra, it's too late for them. They blew far too much to be able to bring down the Dawnbreaker, and now Crystalis is here to clean up. Right, they buy back where they can. They do done. have the roll in coming on through. That's going to be able to get the chains done on tonight. Not He's enough. dead as well. Three dead, no buybacks. 33, got to be collected, and that is it. GG. Team Secrets. Monster they will strike close back. out this game, too, and even up the series. 1v1 matchups and how just the little plays and counter plays make the difference between one CS. Zeus wasn't doing that a year ago. That is true. Socks at the bottom. Going to be run down here. Is this going to be our first blood? Looking like it. Science will claim that one. Away from Chrysalis. He feels it coming. Sticking on the hard left oh, hand just, side of the lane. He picked right on top yeah. of it, man. They got a ward. They're going to come forward now, though. Nine immediately goes for the pick off onto the Crystal Main. They're going to chain stun him, get that kill nice and easy. Now nine needs to get out because, oh, from the side, Nisha hopping on in. That is a trade off that Secret is very happy with, I'm sure. This Tundra team fight is a lot about using this Marana ult to find the targets they want between Tiny and Tusk. Searching for it now. Tried this before. They're going to have to lead off with the Avalanche. Tumbler toy over the side to make sure they get the toss. And uh, a very nice pick off for Tundra. He kind of needed to, but Secret, they're going to chase after these guys. Those Nine. He's got a haste rune, so he may not be able to outrun that rocket, but he can get some serious distance. They're going to try and chase. Oh, oh what an interception. What a play from Rana. Now in turn, they're going to save each other with the snowball. Socks hey, man, with a beautiful Avalanche. Man. Hello, Black Hole. Goodbye, Secret. Beautiful interception there to just turn the fight around. Oh, and one more rep.
wrap it up. That'll be a team wipe for Tundra. Whoever you want. What? Five man wipe. A setup. There's also a lot of chain stuff potential for Tundra. Like you get Malphis, you get Avalanche, there's an arrow coming through. If they commit on a chain stun target off the arrow and you E-blade that guy and it saves him from a lot of that physical burst, you can turn the fight around. Puppy flirting with danger. Yeah, he really was. I don't think Skeeter <laughs> thought it was just him. <laughs> and it was. It really was. The rest is secret. They were a bit of distance away, Snakey. They're going to try and pop him here. They're going to throw the Dawnbreak Goldsman on top of this to ensure they fast kill, but they're on the wrong side of this cliff. He's just going to try and use it to his advantage, though. They do have the shard out. There's no black hole to fear, so they can just kind of run headlong into Tundra, perhaps. A freezing field. Keep it the going. Old. Just managed to get that one kill resolution. Try and finish it off, but Dawnbreaker Hammer can't go to three. Now, Chaos Knight. Skeeter trying to get the armor toggling, but Nisha delivers the, the damage. Not quite enough. The toggles keep going. Frostbite going out. Now, Crystal is low. Flat Cannon shots one after the other, but Skeeter oh, stays alive through it. it all. He toggles through everything. Nisha got stuck on that high ground cliff too, trying to position. Thrown at him. And Tundra, now, they want those long fights. Yes. If they get multiple Tuscar spells off, it's a perfect scenario for them. Trying to hammer away, but here comes the snowball. Nine knocks him out. And it looks for a little bit more too. The shard locking in Puppy. May have gotten the D ward. But he won't make it out alive. Nisha barely able to jump away before the Tiny could grab him. That side of the map, they can't play. Let's go to the other side of the map immediately. Yeah, Moonlight Shadow on one as well. Found the Smoke gyro. Break. They did find the gyrocopter and the opportunity to be able to burst him out almost instantly. And there he goes. The response from Secret, they tried to do some damage to the Tiny. Only got him to half health. They fully give up now, leaving Puppy behind. Everybody else is going to be able to get out. Yep, we're good doesn't have the same physical impact as the last game, and now you're getting tossed back on. Oh, they can't afford to lose. Nine, Nisha, he's going to be pulled over to the side, tries to get a hop away, but no chance. 33 tries to throw out the black hole, doesn't actually catch what he wanted out of that, but still, great fight for Tundra. Let's hit high ground. The snowball getting him larger every minute here. The aura is just nothing to fight through it here for Secret. I'm a full lane of barracks. Team Secret without uh, Nisha. This is Tundra side. The glyph is down. The tier three is almost falling. His touch is going to force this for two. Why back? Puppy well, puts himself in the front lines. They immediately do get the kick back onto the Enigma. Is that who they really want to go for, though? They've lost their two supports for it. They're going to buy back. But are they going to get anything for this? Even with the extra lights, Puppy TP's in. Instant die back. Rezo turns around, used the magic immunity to get rid of the Malphys, but he's just dragged back in by Skeeter. Run down through the side. Zion's trying to get the opening. The Dawnbreaker ultimate. It's going to land and do a lot here with an AoE stun, but all these heroes on a bit of HP. They do not have enough to be able to cut them down. They need more damage. Crystal is trying to deliver. They finally do get it. They bring down the Chaos Knight, run over the Enigma, trying to chase for more. Snaking gets out, completes his TP. Serious economic blow. And maybe a very real blow as Nine takes down Resolution after that fight. Nisha, you cannot let him get away with this one. He's going to eat play, but he already used the lightning bolt. He's going to TP out. Oh, no secrets. Also, Skeeter losing the Aegis midway through that one. Nisha's been caught, though. Nisha, he played. Oh, he doesn't have a hop, but he does have a blink dagger. He blinks away. That was as close as you can get. Still a blink on CK. That was the game ender right there, and they might still get it, and they do. One more buyback left for Secrets. Enough of the long games in the first two. Decided to kick it up a notch. Nice blink backwards. Zayas rolls right into the middle of Tundra. A trap beautifully set and sprung by Skeeter. Stops the initiation entirely. There is still a tier two up at the top lane. Meanwhile, you might not even get there. Tundra's just near base. Tundra, they're setting up. They got the initiation. They're going to bring down the Dawnbreaker first. The arrow comes out. He's dead. No buyback there. Zion's trying to disrupt whatever he can. The snowball on back in is going to be able to finish up Zion. The puppy falls as well. Three dead. No buyback. Tundra. Maybe don't even need the Megas. Maybe they just delivered the final blow to Team Secret. Knocking Fine. them down Purchase. to the lower bracket. You'll have to fly it through here on the side. The last it hope. now. Is he going to be able to sneak it through? Will anybody notice this courier? It's going to slip on by for now, but Megas is going to be claimed. Team Secret. Oh no, he's been grabbed. BKB does go off. Divine Reaper starts going to work, but you can see they're actually decently tanky. Chrysalis has got to get back to it, but he's just going to get Black Delve immediately. Divine Rapier picked up. Divine Rapier dropped. And that 
is it. Tundra are going to the Grand Finals. And in an absolute dominating fashion for this Game 3. Those first two games, pretty rough and tumble, but this just cemented their dominance in this tournament. They are definitely the favorites going into that Grand Finals. Just, no one can break the way these guys play the map.